If cannot finish Jace Johnson off the mark. Just with it, top of the key. Nice skip to Taylor. Kinsey will take the three off the mark. They swing to Kinsey on the far side. Kinsey around a triple team, has it knocked out. And, and a chilly kill, and history swatted by Milner Chris. And a collision disrupts that. And a nice recovery. Byers swats King. Kinsey leaks out. And Kinsey throws it. West with it now. He sits alone in 12th place in martial history and career assists. Kinsey airballs the jumper. I have to tell you, Michael Byers is such an impressive prospect, in my opinion, as the turnaround jump. West had an open three, extra pass, Kinsey, two hands, rolls home softly for Jalen Jordan, 16 points, perfect from bonus distance. Kinsey, the end, one free throw. Out on the break, he had a big first half, 16 points. Johnson's three won't drop. A rebound for Andrew Taylor, his first of the day. One of eight guards, 6'3 and under, to rank inside the top 250, especially as basketball trends more toward an offensive-driven game. So many players are concerned about the point total they put up. See a guy like Anachilly Killen come in, and at his age, only 18 years old, love defense that much. That's a welcome change of pace as Kinsey speaks an answer. Milner Chris tries to dish it off on the screen and roll. Intercepted by Taylor. Kinsey cleared for takeoff. Ta a chilly killing closing in. And Javante Milner Chris, 11 points, the assist to Jalen Jordan. Kinsey goes down. No whistle. And it's a four point deficit. Blue Raiders on an 8-0 run. As Kinsey is fouled on his. Second free throw, no good. Gets his own miss and goes right back up with it. Middle Tennessee, you have seven offensive rebounds today. Could have had your eighth. As Kinsey sizes up Johnson. Swing, back out to Kinsey for three, no good. 108 games across the nation today, 73 on the ESPN family of networks. It is a busy Saturday, and perhaps the best mid-major matchup that took place today took place against Loyola Chicago and Drake, a Missouri Valley Conference. Contest is Kenny Milner Chris. MTSU back within nine. To Kinsey from Taylor. Easy. Your head coach Nick McDevitt and the Blue Raiders. The tip is up and it's won by Marshall. Sporting the home white uniforms, Middle Tennessee in the alternate black. As Kinsey stops on a dime, the jumper won't go. Rebound pulled down. Run for Middle Tennessee. Jace Johnson, the junior, gets that one to go. Kinsey, mid-range, it won't fall. The longer with Middle Tennessee, 
eight points. As for Marshall, you have to keep protecting the basketball. Since league play opened, the Herd has seven games with a miss from bonus distance this evening. Middle Tennessee has not scored in two minutes and 12 seconds. Kinsey, the leaner, he's fouled. 2.46 as the scoring drought continues to climb. Kinsey, step back jumper with David. Offensive board for Middle Tennessee. And the second effort won't go either. Kinsey drives baseline. Marshall trails by one, and they don't. Fishman 0 for 4 today from the field. Tough shooting day so far. The Eastern Kentucky transfer. Kinsey gets to his spot in the lane and hold for the final shot of the half. Kinsey spins into the lane, lays it in with a beach volleyball. As Milner Chris drills the mid-range jumper. And Williams said that having that practice, as Kinsey fades away, having that practice at Middle Tennessee has managed the turnovers well today, just five. Kinsey, that's too easy for Tavian. Tries to thread the needle, intercepted, taken away by Taylor. Kinsey, wide open for Trey. Rims in and out, and Williams is fouled. The Raiders drive baseline, it's left short, and now Marshall a chance to break out on the break. Taylor to Kinsey, eyes at the rim, Tavian. And King has been in the contest. George. George gets the offensive board. Nice handoff to Kinsey, and he throws it down. King again. Five points now for King in six minutes. Kinsey drives baseline, two-hand flush. 16 tonight. King. Tries again. Not as successful as the last time. Elias King played a season-high 21 minutes last game against Charlotte. Exploded for a career-high 15. Kinsey will try the three. And he'll make the three. The CUSA, they'll play that series with Western Kentucky to close the year. Could have big implications in the East as West strips it away. Milner Kreshu. Monarchs have also won eight of their previous 11 games. They have a quarter, or a quadrant two, I should say, win over Marshall. Byers gets it in down low to Kinsey. And Eli Lawrence now with 10. Three players into double figures for Middle Tennessee. Lob to Kinsey, throws it. Makai Long early on the practice floor, Dave, and it paid dividends right there. Yeah, he's a pretty nice shooter. I don't think you're going to insult him by leaving him alone. Here's Kinsey for the foul line jumper. That's good for Tavion Kinsey. Good. who's on Little dish there would have been an easy score, but Hunter takes a tough shot. Foul goes on Joe Reese. That is his first. Monarchs were able to, for the most part, stay out of foul trouble last night, and that was key. Here's Kinsey, the catch, turn, fire, and hits. Wow. Not much. It looks like it's boosted his confidence big time. And it should. Absolutely. 16-14, Marshall. Taylor along the perimeter to West. Now to Kinsey at the top. Will he shoot over Palavios? Gets into it, runs into a screen. It turns the ball over. Deep corner. Trice had nice post position. Very good post speed, speed from Struthers. Heard has hit their last four shots, and here's Kinsey. He's on the left blocks, takes it wow. to the hole and lays it in. I am keen. So baseline right, inbounds pass to Kinsey. Baseline jumper, good. Wow. They look 554 to go in the half. This is their largest lead. And Ted, keep an eye on early. He's the guy last night that took that ill-advised shot last, wasn't he? Here's Kinsey, swish. Kinsey. Working on Palavios, jump hook, no good. Rebound, Alphys has a piece of it, but there's Kinsey to pick up the change. Your way. Xavier Green, 16-footer. That's no good. Rebound tap from Miladinovich to Kinsey. 
Jared West will move into the front court with a quick pass to early to George, now to West. Man-to-man -man defense now for the Monarchs. West guarded by Jalen Hunter to Kinsey, who shoots over Palavios, and that rattles in wow. for... Not alive. He, he wasn't able to collar it, but keeps it alive, goes right to Struthers, and he lays it up. 60 to 38. Marshall leads Old Dominion. Here's Tavion Kinsey against Alphys Palavios. One-on-one, -on -one. Kinsey, step back, jumper, no good. A rare miss for Conference USA's leading score. Four as he goes two for two from the stripe. 10.57 to go, 74.45. Marshall leading Old Dominion. You mentioned the statistical nature of splits in Conference USA this year, Dave. 16 sweeps and 26 splits. Here's Taylor after the great defense, the herd ends up with a Miladinovich layup. Other shows the three, then moves it out of there and gets himself to the wing for a three. That's no good. Miladinovich with the rebound. Nice close out by Taylor to take that jump shot away from Struthers. Kinsey goes coast to coast and misses the layup and it goes out of bounds off the Monarchs. And with 8.25 to play, it's an 80-52 to 52 Marshall. West to a cutting Kinsey. His foul line jump shot is good. Yeah. His lays it up and in. That's his first field goal. He's got three points. Meanwhile, at the other end, the pass for Darius George comes down to Kinsey, and he's going to be called for steps. Ooh. Ooh. This contest in the Henderson Center got underway. Our great crew, as they are, sprinted from Hoops Family Field, which is a little bit of a jaunt from the Henderson Center. Sprinted down here, still getting our equipment hooked up. The drive cannot finish. Jace Johnson. Marshall did not make a basket yesterday until the 14.58 mark of the opening half. After that, it was all thundering herd uh, as a trap. King lets the three fly. And so long, he's so athletic, he can influence shots defensively. But on the offensive game, and you see that offensive repertoire, the floater, the leaner, he can shoot threes. That's really where we're seeing basketball go to. And speaking of Main Street and finishes. The one thing not talked about in this contest, this is a good guard matchup between Davis and West. Jordan leads all scores with 11. He gives it up to Johnson. Johnson can't finish on the baseline. You have got to get back if you're Middle Tennessee. That's poor transition defense for the Blue Raiders. It was a one on two. Two gray shirts and Jared West able to split the two and drive right through the middle. Have to be stronger than that on defense for Nick McDevitt's team. Jordan stops, pops, cans the jumper. Advantage once more for Marshall. One minute left in this opening half. One minute left in the half. And Jordan travels on the side, leans into the three, off the mark. Perhaps a chance to go two for one if they move quickly. Shot won't go. Milner Chris goes up and he's fouled. 17 for Jared West. Three bombs from the outside. Largest lead today for Marshall. John said the call won't get it. Five point lead for the herd. Shot clock down to nine. Now down to two. Davis pulls up from the outside. Won't go. Hello, Blue Raiders, number one, Tyler 
I say all that to say, Middle Tennessee just down by 10. They're still within striking distance. If you're the herd, you have to figure out a way to put the Blue Raiders away. The way they've shot the ball today, 10 points is not an insurmountable lead for Marshall. Johnson stops on a dime. That one won't go. Tapped out and nearly kept alive. Just seven games left on the Blue Raiders' schedule, including this one. Middle Tennessee dangerously close to closing a third straight year under 500 in league play as Davis misses. Dish took the bump from West. Like I said, foul was on the floor. Middle Tennessee not in the bonus, so they'll kick it out. And canned on the three. How good that matchup was. Ramblers in first place in the MVC. Drake second. Of course, it would have been so much better if Shenquan Hemphill had played. Hemphill out for an extended period of time due to a broken foot suffered against Northern Iowa. Announced by the league office yesterday. Both free throws go for West. 27 points today for West. Leads all scorers. Johnson can't finish. Tipped back. Jordan Davis, DeAndre Dishman, Jace Johnson, Jalen Jordan, and Javante Milner Chris, the redshirt senior who missed 12 games last year due to various injuries. For Marshall, it's Andrew Taylor, Jansen Williams, Jared West, Tavion Kinsey, and Obina and Achille Killen. The mid range jump. Shot fake, whistle, and they'll be up by nine here on the road. Miladinovic tries the post hook, it won't go. Jordan feeds the far block, 10 on the shot clock, face up won't go. Three-point lead for Middle Tennessee. Jordan, leaner, won't go. It's George, that's his 11th made three of the year. In the corner, Johnson, it won't go. It's a board for Middle Tennessee. And the second effort won't go. This has not had the luck today. 0 for 3. All three of them have been right there on the doorstep. Jordan drives, tries to go up and under, and he gets fouled in the West. Seven points now for West. Chris will swing it to Davis. And Davis pulls it through. And a chilly killing might have gotten a piece. Taylor, quick trigger three. In and out. Largest lead of the night for Marshall. It's 11. Nice cross court skip. Finds Davis. He can't make the three, though. Have to finish those if you're a team that ranks 94th in the nation per KenPom.com and defensive effective field goal percentage, 48% on that end. They also rank 78th in two-point field goal defense this season. And there's a three for Middle Tennessee. That's Michael Byers again. Six points, second made tray of the day. Raiders drive baseline. It's left short. 